it gives me great pleasure and pride to present the award for the special, the ARIA for the special achievement. Tonight, ARIA honours two pioneers of the Australian recording industry. Without them, there might not have been an Australian recording industry at all. That's definitely true in the case of Bill Armstrong. Bill started recording Australian music in 1950, before there were studios to record in. When he moved inside, it was into studios he built from nothing. In 1968, Armstrong Studios introduced the first eight-track recording machine to Australia. One small house turned into five adjoining buildings. Then the whole operation moved into a large warehouse and it all started again. There was no time to stop. While the equipment was moving in and the studios went up, the music kept coming out. If it was recorded in Melbourne, it was recorded at Armstrong's. From Normie Row to Little River Band, from Sadie to Whispering Jack. And along the way, Bill Armstrong also won the licence for and once again built Australia's first FM radio station, E.ON. He put Australian recording studios on the world map and today Bill Armstrong is back where it all began, still recording and supporting Australian jazz. Bill Armstrong recorded them, but it was Ron Tudor who sent many of those Australian artists into his studios. Ron found artists, believed in them, paid for them to make their records and then kept believing in them. Ron Tudor was one of Australia's first independent record producers. He believed and took the risk. At one point, early in his pioneering career, working in his brother's brickyard to help pay the bills. Ron Tudor discovered the Seekers, but did not stand in their way when the Seekers had a chance to sign an international recording contract. He also let Mississippi go so they could become the Little River Band. Between them, Ron and his artists amassed 20 gold and platinum records. But more than anything, Ron Tudor has always been the one prepared to stand up for Australian music. For three long years, he led the good fight to increase Australian content on Australian radio. Australian music has a lot to be thankful for, thanks to the contributions made by both Ron Tudor and Bill Armstrong. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bill Armstrong and to accept for Ron Tudor, Ernie Rose. Thank you to the board of ARIA for this award. Spike Milligan once opened his show with the words, I have nothing organised, so nothing can go wrong. Some might describe my career, career like that. I actually thought I knew what I was doing. When I was beginning my recording uh, in the recording industry, I <coughs> noticed that in 50 years, there was a remarkable changes in sound recording over the last 100 years. In 1929, when I was born, talking pictures had just begun. Radio was in, in, in its infancy and electric disc recording had just started. Ampex had just made their first tape machine in 1948. And the music of the day was jazz and big bands. And today, 70 years later, I find myself using the latest digital technology to restore those records that I grew up with. And strangely enough, I released them under the, the Bill Armstrong collection. In, sec in accepting this award, I want to pay tribute to all of the people who were part of Armstrong Studios, and there were lots of them. And in particular, two people whose innovative skills contributed to the success of the studios, Roger Savage and Graham Thurple. Thank Thank you to both of you. And also, in my radio career, Bill Conn and Neil McRae. And I thank also the record companies and the advertising agencies that supported me so much in those years. It's a great honour to receive this award from my friends at ARIA. Thank you.
be here tonight, but has asked me to extend his very special thanks to some special people for strong support over many years. Bill Armstrong and Roger Savage through Armstrong Studios for the early years of Fable Records right from the beginning through all the development period. Ted Gregory and John Hallwood of AAV for the latter years, Fable Bootleg and beyond. And Ray Harvey for the long haul as his loyal right hand man. He is also anxious to thank all of the print media, radio and television for invaluable support of his artists and products. Ron has always appreciated the enormous contribution of countless musicians, arrangers, engineers, uh, producers, composers, performers, without, with whom he was associated over many years of his recording industry. And tonight he wishes to reaffirm that appreciation. And special thanks to his family, Jean for putting up with him for so long, his son Dale and his lovely daughter Megan. For my part, I take this opportunity to thank a very great man who motivated, encouraged, supported and promoted three generations of our very fragile music industry. And again for Ronnie, thanks Aria for this wonderful recognition.